speaking with one of the world's most sought-after guitarists, um, Adelaide's own Orianthe. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Um, you've obviously been living in LA since about 2006, but you make it back to Adelaide every year to see your family and play a show. Um, what does this city mean to you? It means a lot to me. I mean, I love coming home. You know, grew up there. Uh, spent up to about like when I was like 21, I left for for America, and um, you know, I miss it. I wish I could come home a lot more often. I'm going to try to do that. You know, in the next few years, and I get back there a couple of times a year because. You know, I just I miss the whole city. I love walking around with my sister and friends and just hanging out. And uh, you know, I grew up like playing in the bars. So I was fifteen, so playing in the pub, like pub bands, and um, you know, a lot of memories there for sure. Absolutely. Um, despite being a pretty small city, um, Adelaide's turned out quite a few uh, world-renowned artists over the years. Um, yourself included. Uh, but a lot of people still think there's no real way of like making it big out of Adelaide. How did you first start making a name for yourself? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, I played guitar since I was, like, six, and then I started, like, supporting acts when I was, like, 14, 15, so it would come to Adelaide. So, um, you know, I got a manager and just started, like, getting out there and, and playing as much as I could, getting as many support as I could. And then, you know, I think the main thing is just recording your material and sending it out to people. That's what... You know, I always tell a lot of artists, I say, just put your stuff down on a, well, now it's an MP3 and, and email it out to people that you respect and get their opinions and, and, um, and you know, it, that's the main thing, just putting yourself out there, I think, and, and writing your own material, you know. Well, it certainly worked for you. Um, you've had already had an extremely successful career with no signs of it slowing down. Um, you've played with Michael Jackson, Santana, Alice Cooper, Richie Sambora, and obviously the list goes on. Um, who would you say has taught you the most as a musician and as an entertainer? Um, you know, I've learned so much from everyone that I've worked with, really. I mean, it's just their energy and just being inspired and um, the encouragement, you know, I got. And I feel really blessed that I've been able to, you know, share the stage with so many people I look up to, you know. I mean, Michael Jackson working with him was insane and getting to jam with Santana when I was, like, 18 and, you know, Steve Vai and uh, you know everyone that I've been able to sort of jam out with and Richie and you know it's just it's really it's kind of like I don't know pretty surreal like when you when you uh, get to jam with your idol like when I got to go on stage with Santana that was that was insane oh, you know I don't imagine. think it, it really it didn't sink in until like quite some time after and and he's a friend of mine now and 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 uh, his wife Cindy Blackman who's an incredible drama I just played on her new album and you know just uh I don't know it's pretty surreal I must say it really is to be able to call these people you know my friends and and uh just saw Steve Vai the other night and spoke with Carlos the other day and yeah it's it's insane <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone left on your bucket list that you would like to perform with or have you pretty much done it all you know there's a lot of new acts that are coming out which I really dig you know it's like um and actually from Adelaide, Sia, who I'm a big fan of, and I'd love to do something with her. That'd be awesome. She's, she's incredible. I love her voice and her songs and everything and, and the messages in her songs and, um, you know, just truly talented and uh, great that she's an Adelaidean, so that's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, obviously, as, as you mentioned, you've worked with a lot of people, but you've also done a lot of your own stuff. Um, is there one that you prefer? Do you prefer doing the solo stuff or do you like getting around the world with some of the biggest entertainers in the history of music? <laughs> well, getting to tour with Alice Cooper was pretty crazy. I was on tour with him was like four years, three and a half to four years. And, um, you know, I love doing my own thing too. You know, when I was on tour with Alice, I would take the band, take off with his band and do my own shows, you know, around the world. So if we'd be in London, have a night off, I'd book out, you know, a club. And, um, yeah, my agent would just book out clubs in different places like New York or whether it be wherever we're at. And, I just play as a three piece and do my own show, and that was a lot of fun. You know, I love doing that, and now making new albums. So, you know, I truly feel like both for me. You know, I love I love guesting and just being the guitar player. Um, it's, it's just fun, a lot of freedom that comes with that. You know, and when you're supporting a singer, you're not having to remember lyrics and all that. So, <laughs> you know, that's that's fun. But um, I love being able to play with my own band, and and um, you know, we were doing this 
and doing his project uh, with Richie and we're doing a new album and everything and being able to, you know, share the stage with him and, and the way that we work together is, is really cool. Like, bounce off each other. He sings a song, I back him up, I sing a song, he backs me up and then we both sing together. So that's, you know, it's cool. We get to do kind of both things, you know, with that, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, so, so we'll, as we mentioned before, you'll be returning here on December 21 for a special show at the Gov. Um, what can we all expect from mm-hmm. that? Well, I'm going to be playing a lot of songs off my you know past few records and um, some old ones too. And, and it's my first cover band once again playing me. And um, yeah, we're going to have a blast again. I mean, last year was so much fun that I just really want to do it again and, you know, then the rest of the time I'm in Adelaide, I'm just going to relax and pretty much walk my Pomeranian around. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a blast. It's going to be you know pretty much like just a big party like last time and and a real jam and and just a good time. Cannot wait. Uh, well, as well as the upcoming show, uh, like you said, yeah, you've got a new album coming out with uh, Richie Sambora in early 2016. I'm thinking. Um, is everything mm-hmm. ready to go with? Yeah. It? And uh, what can we expect from it? Well, it's um. You know, we've been experimenting a lot with different sounds and different, you know, producers and whatnot. And and um, it's really a journey because I think creating something new takes a lot of time. And a lot of people are like, this has been like, you know, two years. Or, you know, we've been touring a lot with, you know, with that. And then also just writing and, and taking time to just mold a sound, you know, and try to figure out what we want to put out, you know, that really represents uh, us you know, as, you know, two artists coming together and, and what we bring together. And and um, it's when, when it feels ready, we definitely, you know, I'll be tweeting away and letting everyone know when it's going to come out. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be early next year, like January, February kind of time period. So um, just putting everything together now, and it's really exciting. You know, it's, it's definitely such a process. And we have so many different um, sounds and, and different songs and, and uh, you know, really proud of this album. We've worked really hard on it. Awesome, and uh, can we expect to see you back in Australia sometime next year for a full tour of the album? Yeah, no, definitely. We're going to come back and and do some promo when the when the single comes out, and and um, come back and play some big shows. And we're actually booked to play a few big shows later on in the year, actually in Australia. So that that's going to be a lot of fun. Brilliant. And uh, so just to finish off, um, at Army, we're obviously a, a music school, and you know our whole motto is about getting young people into the music industry in whichever way they can and just teaching them all they can about it. Um, do you have any advice that you could give to any aspiring musicians out there? Yeah, I mean, you know, the music industry has changed immensely, you know, than what it was even like two years ago to ten years ago when I signed. And um, it's really just being very creative and putting yourself out there in a really interesting way, um, to capture people's attention because, I mean, it's it's really... It's kind of sad how people like download everything in these days and, and how the industry is really deteriorating. But I think that um, people just want something new. People want new sounds, you know, and when you put everything into what you do and you put your heart into it and you're honest with yourself and everything, then that's all you can do as a musician, you know, as an artist, um, as a producer and, and everything. It's just um, really having a passion for it and and being driven by that, you know, and... and uh, trying to move yourself first, you know, I think that's, when you get into that mode of, I want to write songs for other people, or kind of like, you know, it's it's really, the better songs I always find are the ones you write for yourself, and when you're being really sincere and, and everything, so that, that's, um, you know, I truly really feel like this record that we've been doing is that way, and with any other artists coming up or whatever, it's like, that's what affects me, like when I listen to new music, it's um, honesty, you know, it's just a, uh, and, and passion and everything. Especially when you see a live show, you know, you see someone just really getting into it, be a singer, drummer, guitar player. It's like just putting it all out there, putting everything into it, you know. Well, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Um, we can't wait to see you in on December 21 at the Gov, and, yeah, we look forward to the album next year. Yeah, definitely. That's been so much fun to come out there, so I can't wait. And thank you so much.